Hey there guys, Aaron C coming at you again today with another lesson. So, uh, upon request, uh, someone was asking me about playing octaves as I, in response to my jazz guitar video yesterday. So I kind of want to talk to you about that a little bit more and um, just go over some basic octaves. Now, they can be simple to complex, and I'm going to keep it a little more on the simple side, but just kind of where you would use them. Okay, so the basic, most complex way we get them is strings 6 and 4, uh, Five and three, four and uh, four and two, and three and one. Okay, so when we're on six and four or five and three, they are basically a fret. In there, you skip a fret and you skip a string. Okay, so that's third fret on the sixth string, um, fifth fret on the fourth string, and same thing with five and three. Now, when you go to four and two, you have an extra fret in the middle to compensate for the interval. And then that, and I think I have some issues with the strings there. I got new strings on there. So uh, anyways, so we got that going on. Now, the technique thing is what's gonna vary based on song style, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, so if you're kind of the Wes Montgomery jazz purist, you're gonna use your thumb, sliding into those. Okay, if you're into more like the kind of cool in the gang. You know, you're going to kind of get, you know, do more of the funky pulsing a left-handed rhythm as I like to refer to it. Or a right-handed rhythm if you're a left-handed guitar player. But I'll let you be the decision. Yeah, decide that one. So, anyways, um, so we have that one, okay? So those are just some basic ways to use the intervals uh, as far as the octaves go. Um, just whether, like I said, more of the finger style for jazz, or even in, in, you can use the pick for jazz. I was just making reference to all you West Montgomery uh, purists out there that stopped listening to the radio after he died. You know who you are. Anyways, with that being said, of course, you're probably going to turn this off once you see that I'm playing jazz on a Telecaster too, but that's okay. Only love for you. Anyways, well, um, anyway, so those are just some basic ways to play the octaves. There are some more advanced ways. I don't want to go into all that today. That's just kind of everything in a nutshell as far as remember if you're on six and four and five and three, you want to skip a fret, skip a string. With this four and two and three and one, you skip two frets and you skip um, two frets on three and one as well. And you always have the string in the middle. And then the biggest way to mute the string is you want to, I, what I do is I just kind of have my first finger hanging down when I'm string skipping, and then that way I don't have, I don't have that, okay? And that will mute that in case you're one of, okay? And you're doing that sort of thing there. So, anyways, those are just a couple good pointers there, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you ASAP and see what we can do from there. Hey, I appreciate you as always for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, guys.